Hi, welcome back to Sensuality. Today we're making Molecule 5. Yesterday we made Molecule 4. Molecule 4 is ethanol and yavanol, and Molecule 5 is cashmerin and ethanol. Now, cashmerin is a spicy, musky molecule. Um, it has a very fuzzy texture, it's very velvety, and it's a little bit woody. Um, and I've basically gone with a 10% concentration. So I've made a 30 milliliter bottle and I've used three grams of cashmere at full strength and 27 grams of ethanol. For me, this is um, quite a nice place to start. I did do some research on the Base Notes forum and the consensus there was that the best ratio was um, about 12 and a half percent of the overall mass. Uh, to be cashmerin, but I already had cashmerin in a 10% dilution for use in perfumery, and I quite enjoy that strength. I definitely don't think I would want it to be any stronger, but I may in time extend this to a 50 milliliter bottle and just top it up with ethanol and just see how I feel about that uh, percentage because I think it is quite strong when you, when you spray it. Um, as it is in a 10% dilution. Now it does have a really beautiful dry down, but you do have to wait a little bit for that to happen. Um, because I think that you you either will love cashmerin or hate cashmerin if you've never smelled cashmerin before. Using it on its own definitely is a lot different than using it in combination with other oils. So I think that if you wanted to make Molecule 5 or even buy Molecule 5, I think you need to know what cashmerin smells like. Um, because it is one of those things I think uh, people will either like or dislike. Whereas Yavanol is quite a beautiful uh, sandalwood molecule. It's very creamy. Uh, it doesn't have any rough edges. And I think Kashmir has rough edges. Those rough edges do smoothen out, but they are there in the beginning. And also if you take something like iso e in Molecule 1 and Ambroxan in Molecule 2, again, very beautiful, very uh, linear, very subtle molecules, very smooth, um, don't have any rough edges, so they're definitely more pleasing to the nose. Um, but having said that, I think there's a lot to appreciate about Kashmir, and it is beautiful, it is musky, it is spicy, uh, it's very fuzzy, very velvety, it's very unique. Uh, and for that reason, I think, you know, why not celebrate it uh, as a single molecule in a perfume? I think uh, there's a lot to be said about just using single molecules in ethanol and wearing them as a perfume because there are a few molecules that I really do appreciate and I would like to just wear that molecule. So I like Molecule 5. Um, and again, you know, it's really easy to make. It's just one molecule and ethanol. You can make it at home. You can buy these materials from various different places, depending on where you are in the world. Where that will be will, will differ, also price will as well, but not very expensive. Yavanol, uh, Ambroxan uh, for Molecule 2, and Kashmirin, they are more expensive than the average molecule. But even so, you can get about 10 uh, grams or 10 milliliters for around 12 euros. So if you think about your dosage and how much you're making, you could get uh, two or three bottles out of that. So it's probably a better investment than actually going and buying um, Molecule 5, Molecule 4, Molecule 3, Molecule 2, Molecule 1. Uh, so yeah, if you, if you like Molecule 5 and you want to make your own, have a go. It's uh, much cheaper. You never know, it might get you into perfumery, uh, it might spark an interest and you might have fun. Uh, and that's what it's all about for me. So yeah, that was Molecule 5.